You've heard me say that the women who are the happiest, most fulfilled women are the ones who are living mainly in their 80% feminine energy and 20% masculine energy. I want to give you three simple, quick ways to know really crystal clear when you're being in your masculine energy and how to quickly turn back into that feminine, which will always serve you and your goals for your life and for your work and for your relationships. So grab your pens, ladies. These tips are going to serve you so, so well. One of the first things that we need to do here is to remind you of what kind of times you are being in your masculine energy. Remember that masculine energy is the positive polarity. Positive energy meaning it's giving outward energy, okay? It's when you're doing a lot of things. It's when you're thinking a lot. You're trying to strategize. You're trying to control the situations and optimize things. So in your own life, when do you feel that you are outputting, controlling, str strategizing? You need to get really super honest with yourself here, okay? That's what a woman who lives the elegant life does. She's constantly checking in with herself. So be honest. And even if you have to stop this video right now, brainstorm ways. But let me give you just a few ideas. If you are trying to organize everybody's life, that could be on your team at work. It could be in your family life. It could be your husband telling him what he needs to do, what he still hasn't done. You need to do this, this, this before this date. We're doing this here. I'm scheduled this. Are you coming? You've got to come to this. Or even your kids' lives. Are you scheduling their every moment? Are you watching what they're doing? Are you telling them, pick up this, do this, you need to do this. Have you done this? Why haven't you done this? It's this controlling kind of thing. And you think, well, if I don't do that, who's going to do it? Ladies, there is a different way. And that's what I teach here on The Elegant Life. So we're not going to get into parenting now, but I'm going to give you some quick strategies in just a second of how to catch yourself, and then what to do to come into yourself, okay? But let's think of some other examples. Let's say you're constantly worrying about things. You're worrying about someone, you're worrying about a circumstance, you're anxious about something that you're thinking might come true. So there's a lot of mental output. Yeah, it's not just us physically doing things. This masculine energy, it comes from the head. So if you're thinking, if you're always up here, you are in your masculine energy. So again, pause this video. What kind of things are you constantly thinking about, worrying about, anxious about, um, strategizing again about? Okay, so we've got the masculine polarity. That's the outward energy. The female energy is the negative polarity. It's the pulling in energy, okay? There's this polar opposites, right? So the feminine is about pulling in. This is your gift. This is your magnetism ability. This is why women are such incredible manifestors when you are living from your feminine energies, which is another thing I talk about on this channel and in my program. So let's think about this then. If masculine is us physically doing things and physically giving our mental energy and feminine energy is about pulling in, leaning back, going in to the heart area, then what does this look like in real life situations when we recognize that we're being in our masculine and we want to get into our feminine? What does that look like in a really quick split second moment? Okay, let me show you. Let's do a little experiment. So think of something now that has been bothering you lately. And I want you to keep your eyes open and think about it. Just even if you have to pause me for a second, just think of that incident. And notice what happens in your body. Notice where the energy is in your body and the sensation of what it feels like when you're worrying or thinking about this situation, okay? You can pause me again if you need to. Now, once you have that feeling and you're, you've got the sensation, you probably feel a lot of energy leaking from your, your mind. You probably feel your heart palpitations maybe speeding up, 
a little bit of anxiety, emotion inside. Notice these cues that your body gives you when you're living in your masculine. Up here, energy leaking, heart palpitating a little bit, breathing shallow. Okay, that's the cues. Now, close your eyes. And really focus your attention down to your heart. And notice how I just immediately took a deep breath. That's what happens. So you still have this event in your mind, the thing that's bothering you, but now you've got your eyes closed and you've gone inward and your focus is on your heart. And again, you can pause me right now if you need to just really be with this right now. Just notice the sensations in your body right now. Has your breathing calmed, deepened? Has your body kind of surrendered back, relaxed? Do you feel a sense of inner peace and calm? And actually, has your brain softened? Your ideas, your perspective softened. Even if you haven't come up with any solutions to this problem or anything, have things just calmed and softened? These are your cues that you are in your feminine energy. Feminine energy is soft. It is warm. It is peaceful. It is more of a responsive energy rather than a reactive energy. Notice these cues. So the really quick thing that I just showed you to do when you're feeling in your masculine is to close your eyes and focus down into your heart. From there, what you've actually done is calmed your nervous system and allow your brain to go from the animalistic subconscious brain to the creative conscious brain where it can come up with creative solutions. That is what you do when you turn off the masculine and you go into the feminine. You become responsive rather than reactive, okay? The second thing you can do is focus on your breath because, again, women in our feminine energy, we are connected to the body. And so if we are feeling triggered or we're feeling anxious or we catch ourselves just really feeling resentful or barking orders at people or trying to control everybody in the whole situation and think we have to organize everybody, then close your eyes, go within, and breathe. Again, I take you through a beautiful way to do this in another video, which I will link below. And you just quickly focus on your breath. Come back into the body. Another way that you can quickly move into your feminine from your masculine is to move your body. I notice when I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed and just like, oh, I've got too much on my plate and too much needs to get done and it just, I just feel like I'm going to explode somehow, is move your body and let, let the energy out. So what I do is I stand up and I just shake and I go, oh. Let the energy out. My family is very used to me doing this. And remember, we think that, oh, to be this soft, nurturing, feminine woman, we cannot show aggressive emotions. Emotions are not bad. It's when we put emotions onto someone else that they have negative consequences. But my family is very used to me letting out this kind of kind of emotion. And they don't take it personally. They know it's my way. As soon as I do that big release, I have a deep breath. And then I'm able to talk normally and say, look, guys, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I just have so much on my plate right now. I need to just focus on me. I can say that after I've let out the energy, but people do not take it personally. Now, if you're at work and you notice this is up, 
do what you need to do. Go into your office and do it. Go into the bathroom. Go into a storage closet. I don't know what you have. Go outside and just do a quick little walk or just go outside and do a huh, like kind of a, a breath like that or just shake your body, move it and do some deep breaths. And even better if you can do it with arms. That takes three seconds, all right? And then what you wanna do is say, how would my higher self act in this situation? How would my feminine self react in this situation? What can I learn from this situation? Is there any growth opportunity for me? What is needed in this situation? Sometimes what will be needed is you to set a boundary, you to have a conversation and say, hey, I need your help. I need your support. Hey, I need you to step up. I've been taking on a lot of these responsibilities and I can't do it anymore. I need you to step up in your roles at work. I need more communication from you. Well, sometimes from team members, I've let the communication slip and then I need to remind them, I need you to communicate with me. If you're gonna be late on something, you need to communicate to me. If something is taking your time away from your task, communicate it to me, you know? So what is needed in that moment? The only time the real creative solution can come up here or to really receive what is needed is when you're in that calm state, okay? So let's review. When you're being too much in your masculine energy, which is outputting of energy and outputting of thoughts from the head, close your eyes and focus your attention on your heart. You can then start to do breathing. You can do a little bit of meditation. You can do releasing of emotions like this. And you can turn inside and ask yourself, what is needed in this moment? So on that note, ladies, let's make it an elegant feminine week, shall we? And I'll see you 